So today we're going to be looking at step by step how to get set up in Wave for an Etsy seller. So step one obviously is you need to create an account. Um, so this is the second screen of the account setup. I created um, my account login with my email address and a password and so this is the step two as you can see up here. So I'm just going to be calling my company name uh, Etsy shop and my business type if you go down here you'll see that wave actually already has um, a setup for Etsy so if you type in Etsy, Etsy vendors it's gonna top uh, stick everything right in there and the reason that this is helpful is that when as you select your business type wave is gonna automatically generate certain accounts in your bookkeeping software um, and certain expense categories certain income categories that are going to be really helpful and save you a lot of time uh, later on when you're doing your data entry so um, if you're just an, if you're an Etsy seller then you want to select Etsy vendor um, if you happen to be an eBay seller they also have uh, set up for eBay resellers as well and um, another video I'm going to be talking to you guys about if you have both and how to handle that so once I've named my company Etsy shop chosen my business type Etsy vendors my currency is US dollar if you are in another country select your currency the wave supports a lot of different currencies so that's very handy um, and then this is just an option to receive special office offers because wave is free and things like this the special offers their partnerships with other companies is how they support um, their business so I'm gonna click continue and then I'm gonna enter in just a fake address but you would want to put in your stuff oh look one two three Main Street Watsonville California that's close by me so then I'm gonna go ahead and hit get started. And as this is loading, um, then it's gonna take us into our dashboard. So the dashboard is the first thing that you see when you log into Wave. So now that we've created our account, we have our login, we've created our company, we will come in every time we log into Wave and see our dashboard first. Now, because we have nothing entered into Wave, it's going to show us these things to set up accounting, create an invoice, pay employees. So what we want to do is set up our accounting. So we're going to click start here and this is going to load us into settings. Um, okay, so bank account. Hopefully all of you have a separate bank account that you're using to pay your Etsy bills and receive your Etsy income. The reason it is so important to have a separate bank account for your business is because the IRS does not like you commingling your personal and your business expenses. It is much easier to track your income and expense if it's all flowing through one bank account. Now let me be clear here. You do not have to have an official business bank account. So when you go into your bank, you don't have to open a business account. If you run your business under your personal name, you're a sole proprietorship, you haven't gone and incorporated or filed an LLC, anything like that, then you can just open a second personal checking account and run all your business expenses through that account. There's nothing wrong with that. Usually a lot of banks will allow you to open a second personal checking for free. You can also use your PayPal account as your business bank account, if you will. PayPal is basically an online bank. So if you run all of your expenses and income through PayPal, then it works really smoothly as well. Um, if you accept PayPal on your Etsy account, this is where you can click right here to PayPal and link a PayPal account. So since I have a PayPal account, I'm going to go ahead and do this so you can see. 
Um, and this just shows you how to log in and get connected. So you just do your normal PayPal login. Um, if you don't have a PayPal account, you can sign up for one. It's just asking permissions, grant permission. And just a reminder that WAVE uses bank level security on all of their transactions. So you don't have to worry about WAVE in its connections to any of your bank accounts or anything like that of things getting leaked. They have very high security. It's a very safe place. So now that we're configuring your PayPal account, I'm going to link it to my Etsy shop business. So you just select Etsy shop. The payment account that we create for your transactions is PayPal. And we're going to download all the transactions. If you're doing this um, for the first time, but you want to make sure you get everything for this calendar year, you would just change this back to January 1st. Um, for right now, I'm going to put it in starting the 9th, which is technically tomorrow because I'm recording this late at night. And I'm going to hit save. So this just means that starting now forward, my PayPal transactions will be imported into WAVE. As of right now, there will not be any PayPal transactions that show in my WAVE because I don't want it to start importing until the next day. If you have backdated it, if you, I had put January 1st, then it would load in any transactions that it found on my PayPal account starting January 1st, or even further back if you want to um, import from 2014. So now that PayPal and WAVE are connected, I want to add my Etsy account because we do have an Etsy shop integration. So where I want to go is over here in the corner, there's account and then there's integration. So we're going to click on integrations. It's going to show I already have PayPal integrated. So now I can do Etsy for shop owners and connect. account is already logged in. Great. So I hit allow access. So we'll import your Etsy sales starting since I've been using Etsy into Etsy shop. Okay. So what this is, is that um, you can determine when, how long you want it to import things. So I have very, very few transactions on my Etsy account. I basically have done two sales as test sales. And so you're not gonna see a whole lot of transactions. That's why I want it to be since I've been using Etsy. If you are just getting started and you started your Etsy shop in January or this year, you can do January 1st, you can start if you haven't actually ran any transactions through your Etsy shop yet, you can start today. It's all up to you what's going to work best for you. It's going to ask you what account you want or what business you want to make sure your Etsy is integrated. Of course, you want it to be your Etsy shop, whatever your name of your Etsy shop is. And then the third thing that it's going to ask you is what payment account should we put your Etsy income into? So it's, it's, what it's asking is when Etsy pays you out for the things that you sold, where does your money go? Does it go into a checking account? Does it go into a PayPal account? So here, I don't have any bank accounts linked yet. So if I had already linked my checking account in that screen that I showed you before, then we could collect, select that checking account. Since I don't want, I don't have a checking account that I can link with this particular business. I already have my business account linked to my real business. I'm going to create a account. So this is going to pretend I have a checking account um, that I can't integrate. So there now, I, now I have something that says checking account, but this is not something that is linked to any bank right now. This is just an account I created. I'm going to save these settings. Etsy and WAVE are now connected. So right now WAVE is importing your Etsy transactions. 
I know a lot of people have done this step and said, oh my gosh, you know, it says go see your transactions, but then nothing shows up or it's still loading or whatever. Sometimes it takes a long time to load, especially if you have a lot of transactions. Sometimes it goes really fast. Mine went really fast because I have two transactions from Etsy. So this is the automatic import from Etsy. See my two amazing sales that I've done as dummy things. If you click on this transaction, see it'll show say show details and that'll show you down here in the details section um, what your order number was, amount you made, and that it was an imported transaction. This is going to be important later on um, if you have issues to know what came through from Etsy and what didn't. But basically, there you have it. That is how to get set up from the very beginning into Wave with an Etsy account, how to link your PayPal, how to link your Etsy, and then you also want to add a bank account. Um, preferably, you want to link it with your online banking. But if you need to go make open a bank account, then please do that. Also, if you have a credit card, that you use to purchase things for your business. You use a credit card to purchase supplies um, to make your items that you sell or anything like that. You can also connect the credit card and that will import those expenses into your wave. So that's an important thing. You want to make sure every account that you use for your business is linked to wave. So your checking account, your PayPal account, your credit card and your Etsy account. Those are the four primary things that you want connected into WAVE so that all of your transactions for your business are coming into WAVE and they're in one place. Now, I understand as you get going, sometimes things are gonna double enter into WAVE and I'm actually gonna be doing a special video um, with my friend Shannon. She is an Etsy seller out of San Diego and we are going to be working together to show you how to handle when there are duplicate transactions in Waves. So don't worry that one is coming but this shows you the very basics of how to get everything loaded in. I hope that this is very helpful to you and that now you can get your account set up and linked and start loading in transactions and in the future we'll be able to show you how to do all sorts of amazing things with Wave Accounting and your Etsy business. Okay guys, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.